What is up, everybody? It's your boy TV here today, and we're gonna talk about this rumor that Sony fanboys have been running with. Apparently, these clowns have been thinking they're gonna get Forza Horizon 5 on PS5. Like, there's gonna be a PlayStation port, and it's supposed to be it's supposed to be a rumor. This will be announced next week. Apparently, this rumor got shut down quick. Apparently, Jess Corden shut this thing down, but you don't need a game of journalists to shut this rumor down because. Any person with common sense would know that, hey, if any one of Microsoft's legacy franchises goes to PlayStation, then the whole thing is done at this point. Like, it might as well not be in third party at this point in time. They're not going to put Forza, Halo, or Gears of War on PlayStation. That's just dumb. Sure, you're going to get a Sea of Thieves, a High Fire Rush, or what was the other one, Grounded? You're going to get these lower titles. You're not going to get one of their main franchises on PlayStation. That's just dumb. So... The fact that there's even a rumor is very concerning, but Sony fanboys are really begging for this game. <laughs> they are really excited about this coming to PlayStation. I was like, no, it's not coming to PlayStation, you numb nuts. Get an Xbox or get a PC. The people who hate Xbox so much secretly want Xbox exclusives. Why am I not shocked by this? Let's just read some of these comments. These guys really thought they were getting this game on their PlayStation. Nope, you're not getting great quality on that PlayStation. Be hyped up for that dead on arrival shooter Concord, that hero shooter that's gonna flop and very soon. And get excited for Astrobot. <laughs> that cutie adventure right there. So why they got so why they got triggered about my comments saying that game is a kitty game and I'm looking for adult content. Apparently somebody with a um a corn rotted brain thought when I said adult content, I'm talking about corn. No, I'm talking about freaking rated M for mature rated R for adults. That's what I'm talking about. Like The Last of Us, Aliens Romless, I don't know, any adult themed movie or TV show. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about corn <laughs> so, it was just very bizarre i was real seeing a comment about that like no it's like astrobot is sure it's okay i might i might check it out when it's like 20 bucks i'm not hyped for that game like i like toy story little mermaid or snow white or whatever when i was a kid i'm not excited to see that as an adult that's what i'm talking about like adult rated content but you know kudos to you excited for astrobot that's not my cup of tea I was like, I went through the whole Ratchet and Clank thing, I played it, was okay. I'm sure, pretty sure the same film had the same feeling about the Astrobot game. Not excited for that as a grown man, to be honest, but teach your own. Um, let me see. Yes, I effing love Forza Horizon. <laughs> because it is the better racing game compared to, um, to Gran Turismo. Forza Horizon, I would rather play that over the Gran Turismo series. It's like at least that's like an arcadey one. It's just Oh, uh, but this guy says it's a bizarre time to be an Xbox fan. I still think it's a better ecosystem than PlayStation, but it's bewildering. It's bewildering to see Xbox exclusive jump ship to PlayStation. Buddy, you're not getting these games on PlayStation. <laughs> you can hope and pray Oh, Microsoft's downfall, but you're not getting these games on that PlayStation. Either buy an Xbox or buy a PC. You're a delusional if you think they're actually putting Forza Horizon on PlayStation. You're extremely delusional. And he says, of course Xbox console sales are down. You can play Xbox games on PlayStation, but you can't play Uncharted on Xbox. We got Indiana Jones. That is the Uncharted. That's the new generation Uncharted, Indiana Jones. So, you don't care about getting Uncharted on Xbox, and you're not getting these Xbox games on PlayStation. They got a little sample. They got a little taste of Xbox games and they can't handle it. <laughs> Forza and Gran Turismo, and Gran Turismo on the same console would be crazy. No, that would be destructive to the gaming industry. You shouldn't have your competition on the rival platform. You shouldn't have your competition's game on their platform just willy nilly. There's a reason why there's Forza for Xbox and Gran Turismo for PlayStation. It's a happy balance right there. It's like you don't put the Big Mac at um, Burger King. It's like, no, they each got their own exclusives. That's how it should be because competition is great that way. We don't want to mess up that competition aspect of this thing right here. What is the point of Forza or Halo on a PlayStation? There is no point. PlayStation gamers need to stop crying and begging and actually buy an Xbox or get a PC to play these Xbox games. They shouldn't just be entitled to get Xbox content. On that on that crappy PlayStation. This PlayStation is so freaking dry. 
<laughs> the only thing I'm looking forward to on PlayStation is Square Enix to, for, to make another exclusive game, another Final Fantasy game. That is sad. Last year you had Final Fantasy 16. This year you had Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. Where is PlayStation's first party games at? Besides the failure that was going to be Concord and this kitty game Astro Bot, where is the real games at here, PlayStation? But I digress. There's going to be some angry fanboys saying they got plenty of third party games <laughs> to hold them over while PlayStation's pretty much dropping nothing. Hilarious. This person with an Astro Bot avatar says if it is true, I'll buy it to get the platinum. Did you put this effort into your own exclusive game to that Gran Turismo game? Probably didn't, because that game is trash compared to Forza, and he knows it. This is a damn good game. Happy when people get their hands on it. Well, I'm not. I don't think you should get your hands on it if you're a PlayStation user. You shouldn't get your hands on it if you buy an Xbox or, or PC. <laughs> it's all a little kumbaya stunt by Microsoft. Or this, 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 this like appearance, this whole kumbaya nonsense. It's just ridiculous. Like, no... PlayStation does the serves exclusive content and the Nintendo deserves exclusive content. And so do Microsoft. It's like if you want to play Microsoft exclusive games, get an Xbox or a PC. It's that simple. Not all this kumbaya, we shall all enjoy games on each platform. No, 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 no. That ruins competition. And that's how it just shouldn't be that way. Xbox consoles aren't going to survive if they port all their major exclusives. And the inverse doesn't happen. That is very true. If Microsoft puts all their games on PlayStation and PlayStation don't do the same, that's like Xbox is pretty much dead at that point. So I don't think they should move that way. I don't think they are going to move that way. It's just like the very few niche and up and coming titles they want to put over, they did. You're not getting the major games on there. Uh, using fanboys as insiders is a disgrace and bait move that needs to end. <laughs> Hooking into my veins, dude. Love my Gran Turismo, but Forza Horizon is the crap. So at least you got some Sony fans admitting that they know Forza Horizon is superior. Okay. Nah, this is crazy. Xbox really sent F selling consoles ever again, if true. Well, that's obviously not true. Yeah, because Xbox is going to port their iconic racing simulator on a platform that has an iconic racing simulator. Makes zero sense. Glad to see all the console war is still alive and well. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I guess console wars isn't dead. Xbox is just taking a walk in L. If it's true, well, it's not true. It's already been debunked. And if you're, you gotta be really slow to think this is gonna be true. If you thought it was gonna be true. <laughs> then again, we did almost have an Xbox Civil War because people thought Halo was going to PlayStation. Uh, and then it was debunked like a week later, but the people still on the Xbox is losing their minds about that rumor, but it was already debunked. Same with this one, this this rumor. You know, what's with these rumors of these PlayStation game gamers wanting Xbox games on their platforms? That's like the most prevalent rumors in the gaming industry where Xbox is just going third party bringing their games over to PlayStation. That shows a real desperation of PlayStation gamers, doesn't it? Because they just really just want Xbox games. It just sadly just want Xbox games. I mean, I don't blame them. They're getting games like Astro Bot and Concord. <laughs> and no roadmap in sight. I know why you want Xbox games. But too bad. You already know what you gotta do. Buy an Xbox or buy a PC. So I'm concluding right here. This rumor was dumb. People who believed it were also kind of dumb, to be honest. It was like, you should know this is not going to go on a PlayStation. But it is what it is. Definitely see your thoughts down below about this rumor. Leave a like if you like this video. And as always, thanks for watching. And peace.